Members of City Council and the Mayor's Office today announced a new program to start healing relationships between police and the community. The idea would be for people to come together with concerns and ideas to look for solutions. News 13's Tina Jensen is live outside City Hall with the story. Tina. Jessica, this is different than the mandated changes set to be handed down by the Department of Justice. Here they want members of the community, which includes police officers and their families, to create their own agreement. Today is the day that we are going to begin the healing process that will involve the entire community. So how it works, you can go to the city's website where you can give specific information on concerns and solutions. They'll use all that information to create detailed reports about what the community is saying. And from there, they'll bring everyone back together to start negotiating a community agreement to spell out goals and expectations. We know that there's individuals in our community for good reason that have frustrations, that are angry, and we appreciate that. And this in no way circumvents that. But we also want people to be thinking about, give your input, roll your sleeves up with us, and help us do the hard work. As for how it would be enforced, they say it would be a self-monitoring system. Now, they didn't have a lot of details on that aspect, but they said it would rely on passionate volunteers to report back to city leaders on what progress is actually being made. Back to you. Okay, Tina, this Monday, city council members will vote on a bill to fund the project. The city is setting aside $150,000 to pay for facilitators.